Now, this film is a fun, entertaining film, but it also mixes the serious issues of gang-related violence in Chicago. How did you guys find that delicate balance between humour and gravitas? You know, it's, it's Malcolm Lee is just great at being able to have a real solid story, you mm -hmm. know, and, and it can go as deep as you want it to go, and he can still you know, sprinkling and rapping in comedy, and he can still leave you optimistic at the end of the movie. So I just think it's, it's his, uh, you know, sensibility and his, uh, you know, just ways he, he, you know, allows the story to stay real without getting too movie-ish, yep. so to speak. Yeah. It was important for us, though, you know, to come back after 10 years is to have something that was... Uh, uh, you know, a serious storyline, and mm -hmm. at the same time, we know that this movie is a comedy. We've come into it knowing it's a comedy, yep. but you know, without you know, without having something kind of like to ground the whole story, then we just would have been doing a you know a movie about you know the latest you know internet faux pas with people and stuff. So mm -hmm. uh, I think that you know we were able to capture that, and everybody you know jumps into their character in a real way, and so you get you end up saying natural things that are really funny. Yeah. And what does the producer Ice Cube think of the actor Ice Cube? He could do better. <laughs> he gives himself a hard time. Long time. Uh, He's really hard on me. So as a producer, I've seen Ice Cube, the producer, talk to Ice Cube, the actor, in a very, very stern manner. Oh, yeah. 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 They gotta, you know, it's, it's ugly when we get into it. Yeah, I can, I can imagine. It's ugly. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, he could be on time a little more, okay. I believe. <laughs> And Cedric, what are some of your favorite things about reprising your role as Eddie? Well, I mean, one is the freedom of the character. I mean, this freedom to be able to kind of like, as an older man, know that you can kind of get away with saying things that are uh, maybe, you know... Inappropriate? Yeah, you know, and, 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 you know, I'm just not going to kid glove people, you know? like, yeah. and, and it's something yeah. really honest about just like, look, you yeah. know, take it or leave it, but take this. How much of what you say on set is improvised? I mean, a great deal of it. I mean, you know, uh, I mean, it, it is uh, strongly written material, though. I, mm -hmm. I must give credit to the writers who who come in with a really strong template. But uh, you know, th this you know, once uh, once I kind of get into character as yeah. Eddie, then I just kind of I just black out sometimes. So I just say all kinds of stuff. <laughs> and Ice Cube, back in the day, you had a bit of a beef with Common, mm -hmm. but you've now collaborated on the track Real People for the movie. What was it like working with Common, and how did you put your beef to the side? Oh, you know, we, we had really uh, squashed it years ago, mm -hmm. you know, over a decade ago, probably even more. And, um, you know, what, what was cool is, um, that we had no lingering animosity, and you know we we actually friends now, and um, and to work with him on the track, you know, I always thought he was, you know, the, the same kind of b boy that I am, you know, somebody who raps about things and mm -hmm. not just rap to say the coolest lines, but talk about things that's really going on, and so I just felt like we would sound good on the track. This movie is perfect for real people, you know, because that's who we want to step to the front. We want the real people to take over again. And um, so it's, it's a cool track. Hopefully we'll do more. Yeah. And Nelly, everyone has a bad haircut or hairstyle story. What are yours? Oh, man, I had a, a shag one day. And, you know, a shag is small here and it, like, goes long in the back. But yeah. for some reason, when I woke up the next day, it just was not fly. I don't know what it was. <laughs> so you won't be revisiting that look then? No, no, no. I'm, done. I'm done. Yeah, I had a line in that kind of went up the back. So you know where your hair is supposed to frame off, mm -hmm. you know, a little bit? Yeah. And it just kind of went all the way up high where it just, you know, it was not hot. I had to, you know, start wearing a Tupac bandana for a small period. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for talking to Hey You Guys UK. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Is that from the Goonies? Nice. Hey!